exciting than seeing a huge school of bass come up chasing bait and crashing the surface of the water. It can be a really exciting way to catch some fish, but it can also be frustrating. Depending upon the you know, conditions that we're faced with, clear water, really flat, calm conditions, really slick water, sometimes the fish get really selective as to the size bait and the type of bait and the action that they, you know, they look for in, in bait fish when they're in this frenzy. And sometimes your traditional topwater poppers and walking style baits just won't get a look. Sometimes you've got to go to a more subtle, finesse type approach like a soft plastic jerk bait. And this one right here is one of my favorite soft plastic jerk baits. And this is a D shad from Yamamoto. And I'm not a huge fan of a lot of these types of baits because I have a tendency to lose contact with the bait. And I really don't feel what that bait's doing when you're twitching it. And um, when you also get a bite with these type of baits, sometimes you don't feel the fish eat it. So I, I have a tendency to, to miss a lot of fish and also not feel what my bait's doing. But this particular bait, this Yamamoto D-Shed, is an awesome bait because the density of the plastic is a little bit different than a lot of the other brands. And this is a heavier bait. So not only can I throw it far, which is an essential thing for being able to fish one of these soft plastic jerk baits, but I can also feel it when I'm twitching it. I feel something on the other end of the rod when I'm throwing it with a uh, with a spinning rod and reel outfit. That's one of the most important things with you know fishing this style bait is a lot of times you know if you're out there fishing the fish blow up and they're too far away you know to cast with a uh, you know traditional you know bait casting outfit and, and, and top water bait you can make a really long cast with this spinning rod and this particular bait right here because it weighs so much. You can throw this thing a long way and you can get in that school of fish before they go back down again. Not only can I do accomplish that with the, uh, with the spinning rod, but I can also feel what this bait's doing on the other end of my line. So every time I twitch that bait, I feel it um, and feel what it's doing going back and forth. The other thing that you really want to do too when you're fishing you know, these types of baits is fish braided line. You've heard me talk about this before that, you know, for braided line applications, the things that I really like is, um, you know, flipping and pitching and heavy cover and matted vegetation and grass and frog fishing and things like that. But there's also one other time when I really like the fish braided line. And that's when I'm fishing these soft plastic jerk baits because a lot of times you've got that you know, long cast that you made out there and the fish comes up and bites your bait and you need, you know, as less stretch in your line as possible so you can maintain a, uh, a good positive hook set and, uh, and get that fish in. And the other thing the braid lets me do too is make an awful long cast. I can make a, a little bit longer cast fishing braid than I can with fluorocarbon or monofilament, which just gives me a little bit more advantage if I see the fish blow up and they're out of range and I can go ahead and, and make a really long cast. So D-Shad from Yamamoto, awesome bait for, for being able to uh, get a few more strikes when the water's super clear, super calm, and the fish come up blowing up and you can't catch them with your topwater baits. The other thing that I like too, and I've, I've been experimenting with this for a while, and this is you know probably one of the most popular soft plastic baits that we have. It's a Senko. And uh, this one is um, Blue Pearl with Hologram. It's one of my favorite bait fish. Uh, clear water colors and I'm throwing this exactly the same way. I may have both of these baits rigged up um, and I'll alternate between the two. Sometimes they, they want you know the Senko and other times they, they want the D-Shad. It really depends. Um, and so I'll have both rigged up to show the fish something a little bit different. Fishing them the same way, very same outfit, spinning rod and reel, um, 10 pound test, braided line, works awesome. And the other thing that I want to do too is I want to fish a a fairly thin diameter hook too and that just gives me you know a little bit added insurance that if a fish bites my, my bait on a really long cast that that thin diameter um, hook will actually penetrate and, uh, and the fish will stay pegged. So a couple of essential gear um, requirements, spin rod and reel, braided line, thin diameter worm hook, Yamamoto Senko, Yamamoto D-Shad. Next time you see the fish out there schooling up, going crazy, you can't get them to bite your poppers or your walkers, try a little bit more subtle approach to catching some fish. You'll put a few more in the boat. I'm Mike Delvisco, and I'll see you on the water.
And for more bass fishing info, log on to finsandtails.com or like them on Facebook. Fins and Tails, your hotspot for bass fishing stories, videos, people, places, events, how-tos, product reviews, and so much more.